How can businesses encourage customers to leave authentic and verified reviews? That's a great question. Um, most most people don't know that there's two different types of review platforms online. One of them is we call an open review platform where anyone can go leave a review about anybody with usually with very little verification. And then the other type is what we call a verified review platform. And that's typically where a customer has to actually buy something before they get before they get the opportunity to leave a review. And um, consumers don't really know the difference because in search results, both types of review platforms show up next to each other. And so it's really important that, um, that we educate consumers about the different types of reviews because essentially one type, the open review platform, it's very prone to manipulation, right? A lot of these review platform, open review platforms become essentially complaint boards, right? Like ripoff report type things. Because what happens online when somebody gets a, you know, order something and they get that order, if they're, if they've had a bad, you know, a bad experience with that product and they don't get resolution from the company, then where do they go? Right. They go somewhere online to complain. And usually those are these open review platforms. And so what you'll find is that good, honest companies, if they're not actively trying to, you know, take care of that, of their reputation on these open review platforms, their reputation will slowly go down because, you know, good companies still get bad bad customers or or even good customers might have a bad experience occasionally. So what happens is as these customers go find a place to complain online, a company, a good company's star rating could go from a, you know, a 4.5 to a four to a 3.5 down even to like in the ones, in the one star rating. And a lot of these business owners are like scratching their head. They're like, what the heck? Like I'm working my butt off to run a good company and I have a 1.5 on trust pilot. Like what the heck's going on? They just don't understand. And so what we do at Chopper Approved, we're a verified review platform and we really try to, you know, educate the customer on the different types of reviews and how that they how they can become highly trusted online. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to reviews, the interweb is more and more moving into video. So in the past, you would ask via email, leave a review, a text email, but everything is going into video. Everything is going into user-generated content. How do you motivate um, people to leave a video review? And how can you sort of repurpose that into your marketing strategy? Yeah, great question. So in our survey response uh, email, we do have a request to leave a video review so they can leave a seller rating, which is for the website, also known as a merchant review. They can also leave a product review. And then we ask them to leave a video review. Now, the nice thing about video reviews is you can incentivize them. So as a Google review partner, which we are, which means our reviews get syndicated to Google and they show up in your organic and paid search results, as well as on your website and on our review certificate that represents the brand. Uh, we can also uh, collect video reviews and you can provide a discount or a coupon code or a bounce back coupon or whatever it is you want to do to leave that video review. Now, you can't do that with seller ratings because that's gaming the system and Google does not allow that. Uh, they don't like it for product reviews either, but there's no restraints on video reviews. So, you know, it'd be our recommendation to offer some kind of a bonus or gift or certificate or coupon uh, to leave that video review. And as you know, video is very, very popular and people love YouTube. YouTube is the second most popular search engine in the world. So it's a great place to optimize those uh, brand and product video reviews and also display on your website, share on your social media channels, et cetera. 